This feels weird. I'm late to this week's episode, so I don't have Willie or Lane. They already watched. Well, what's going on, guys? My name is Jeff the Bless or I should know. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have season four, I think episode four of our Attack on Titan watch through, or it's season four, part two, episode four. It gets confusing. Last of the Boosted may have been the biggest episode of the series thus far. Aaron got his head blown off, but Zeke managed to make contact. And then Aaron ended up betraying Zeke, but Zeke was just kind of using it as an opportunity to test him, saying that he actually has the power since he possesses the royal blood to control the founder, and that he's going to fix Aaron, make Aaron believe why he should be on his side. It was an insane cliffhanger, so I'm excited to get into it. But if you're new to the channel, drop us up, hit that big blue bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Sub a fat like on this one, let's just hop right into it. I want some questions answered, baby. Whose child is this? It looks like Grisha. Oh. The horrible person he is. Mm. I mean, but what if Aaron ends up being right in the end? It's not even a matter of memories and like Grisha's perspective. What if it's more about just the, the bigger picture? Here, like in his memories? Mm. Wow. Zeke kind of felt like abandoned, which is justified. I think. Oh, so cute. Next memory, flipping through the pages. Hmm. So he put them in danger. For the greater good. Hmm. No, he's, he's lying. He's lying for sure. You can't trick Zeke like this, Aaron. I'm sorry. That was too fast. Let's go through more memories. I think Zeke knows Aaron doesn't actually believe that yet. He's just saying that. Got to know everyone. Boy, he knew everyone. And eventually the... The fated day came. You don't know? I figured Zeke would know. Hmm. So he found it really early on, but continued on. So he didn't just throw his family in a ditch. Hmm. The photograph. See, like, yeah, he... He sees him in his memories? But this is younger shit, too. What's happening? Oh, he doesn't actually see him. He does see him, but I think he just thinks it's like a figment of his imagination. <gasps> what? I think Aaron's starting to realize that it might be kind of turning his way. Whoa! I can't tell, like, that's wild. Wait, is it just like their imagination in a sense too? That is wild. Memories of the future. I, I just realized that title doesn't make a ton of sense, but okay. Didn't make any moves yet. For years. This is all happening in like a split second in that instance where they touch. That is a good question. Now will he actually tell him? I feel like he has to. He's had the same mindset and everything. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess that first instance with young Aaron and Mikasa, like when they... Oh, man. That's true. That does applicate. Is that a word? Mm. Wow! Aaron's like, bro, I've been here all along. Mm. For setting a bad example. Yeah. They're kind of at a brick wall here. They're both using their father as an argument. Well, Aaron's using his whole life as an argument point. Oh, my heart, dude. But he wants him to be on board first. He doesn't want to be like Grisha he, and just use his own plan. Hmm. At least Zeke kind of upholds his own ideals, even if it's wrong to other people. God's crazy seeing him actually ride it. He sees him again. I swear. God dang, dude. This is, this is episode one, isn't it? My brain. It was like a million years ago. 
Zeke is like shocked at everything. And right at that moment, Grisha knew that Eren was in the mindset he needed to be in. Even if he didn't even understand what was actually going on. He's looking right at him. Oh my gosh. It's it's haunting. Kind of gives me chills. Ah, dude this grisha just lived with such a weight it's insane i'm just i feel so torn on the inside like i don't know what's right or wrong coordinate the place where all paths intersect there time is both instant and infinite the first king it always took over God, dude. He's so filled with fury. Why is Aaron walking forward? Future inheritors. Able to know the future. Always ha it always has been? Aaron's known all along? He's planned for this. Hmm. He knew it was supposed to happen. He saw the memories. It had to happen. It was fate. What? What? Wait. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. That's not what happened. That is what happened. Did she attack him? It's almost like Grisha accepted that he couldn't do it. But he saw the future. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Was Aaron actually the one that made him? No, no. Oh. Oh my God. He was able to know everything that would happen because Aaron would be the, the attack type. Aaron told him to because he had the memories. Aaron's plan for everything. Then why let Zeke go through with these memories and everything? To show him that he was in control? Oh my gosh. Even Grisha is afraid of Aaron. How does he see him in this? In oh, because it's Aaron's memories. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Zeke's just stunned. This is not the Grisha he had in his head for all these years. It was a Grisha not controlled by, but led by Aaron. Jesus. So then is Aaron actually in control? Does Zeke having the, the royal blood matter? I thought it did because that's what Ymir cares about. It doesn't. Oh my god this is giving me the exact same feeling as that season three episode where you pretty much learn everything there is to know except still to this point we've been led astray i just don't, i don't know dude i i feel like aaron is right but after this episode now it's taken me back the other way and it, it gives him an almost sort of evil aura because up until now it's been aaron and grisha and then zeke sort of against them but now we've learned that Gr all that grisha did was because of aaron's memories because he was able to see what aaron would experience because of the attack titan's power to see the future holder's memories and honestly that power makes a lot more sense it connects a lot more dots but still not everything makes sense it, it's it's spun my head a lot because now i'm just thinking about everything thinking about when he touched historia's hand i think that's what that shot was and the memories he saw then was she able to see them because she has royal blood i don't know i don't think everything's meant to be cleared up now but that makes a lot more sense i i'm also a bit confused on the whole like
like I, I thought Zeke had the power where Ymir was because of the royal blood but does does Aaron have royal blood or was Zeke just led astray because clearly Aaron has planned for all of this ladies and gentlemen that has been it for episode 79 of our attack on Titan watcher drop a comment down below when we thought the episode we thought my reaction that was a mind bender and as always I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual it's gonna be a long week for the next episode and I'll catch you in the next one peace peace